This is a short video unboxing, testing and reviewing the high power jump starter power station, specifically focusing on its main selling point which is to jump start a car that has a completely dead battery. Now I purchased this device from eBay for around 55 US dollars but if it does what it claims to do it may be worth it. So firstly let's quickly unbox it and have a look at what we get. It comes in a soft zip case, and if we open it up, it has several items inside. It has the power unit, the jump start cables, the AC charging unit, and the user manual. The power unit has a number of devices on it. It has a compass, a flashlight, it has four USB charger terminals for charging phones or other devices, and it has terminals for charging the power unit itself and the jump start cable connections. The user manual is a simple double-sided piece of paper with instructions on how to jumpstart a car. It's very straightforward. So next thing to do is make sure the power unit is charged up before we try jumpstarting the car. The charger must be plugged into the AC terminal next to the USB ports on the end. There are four LED lights on the side which indicate the amount of charge in the power unit. Zero means dead and four means fully charged. This one is showing three lights, so I'll charge it until it reaches four. It took less than 10 minutes to charge it from three to four lights. Now let's go try it on a dead battery and see if it does what it claims to do. I've just got an old 2007 Mazda 3, but the car has been sitting unused for most of the year. As you can see, the battery is so dead that the ignition lights won't even come on and the immobilizer light is not flashing. I will say that about a year ago, a new battery was fitted into this car. So it's not an old used battery, but the lack of use has caused it to go dead flat. Now let's test whether this power unit works. First, we want to attach the red cable clamp to the positive terminal on the battery and the black clamp to the negative terminal. Then we want to plug the blue ends of the cables into the power device next to the USB ports with the square pin going into the square hole and the round pin going into the round hole. Place the power unit somewhere secure so it doesn't fall once the engine kicks over. Now the power is being sent from the device to the car and the battery so we should be able to start it up. The beeping sound and lights are a good indication that we're getting power. Let's turn the key. Okay, it's working. Now we must leave the car idling and immediately unplug the power unit to avoid it overheating or burning out. Remove the red clamp and then the black clamp, then unplug the cables from the device. The next thing I did was leave the car idling for about five to 10 minutes. And then I placed the power station inside my car and took it for a drive around the block a few times. By having the power station in the car, we can jump start it if the battery dies again. I took it for about a 10 kilometer or six mile drive and it was totally fine. After the drive, I parked it again and turned it off for five minutes, then I tried to start it again on its own. The car is now starting okay on its own, which is a good indicator that even though the battery was dead flat, there's nothing wrong with the battery, and the car is also doing its job by charging the battery up when it's driving. So what do I think about this device? Well, it's done exactly what it said it would do. It was easy to charge and use and it's more convenient than trying to find someone else to jumpstart your car, so I have no complaints. Um, I'm actually quite surprised it works so well. As long as it holds its charge in the years to come, then I'm pleased with the purchase. The user manual does say it will hold charge for 6 to 12 months at a time, but they recommend to charge it every 3 months. So we'll have to wait and see how long it lasts. Thanks for watching this long, I hope the video helps. If it does, please like and subscribe to help the channel out.